Bede was the greatest scholar of Western Christendom in the early Middle Ages, and nobody doubts that. Born and brought up on the lands of Wearmouth Jarrow, he had an enormous scholarly output of commentaries, of didactic works, teaching people things like Latin, and equally he wrote a masterful history of the English people and the process of conversion that is still regarded as the finest early medieval work of history. And in front of us here, we have an early copy of Bede's Ecclesiastical History that was commissioned for Durham Cathedral Priory itself after its re-foundation as a Benedictine monastery in the late 11th century. The Bishop of Durham, William Carolef, got this copy in Normandy and brought it to Durham, where it was gradually elaborated and we know it was used for centuries. And effectively, this became the communal memory of Durham Cathedral. Bede's work took them back in time to the early days of Northumbrian Christianity, but we know this book was used by successive generations of monks who gradually added to it. So, for instance, at the front, they included a picture of the whole hierarchy of the church. They added additional historical texts to the front and back that talked about their community and that placed it in the framework of world history. Now we know that this copy was very important for Durham Cathedral and was used by its own historian, Simeon of Durham, in the early 12th century. Simeon wrote a detailed account of the community, how it developed, the building work it did, the construction of the cathedral. And we know that this was one of the works he used as a source. And in fact, in the margin here, we have notes taken by Simeon in order to draw attention to things he was going to use in his own writing in due course. And at the end of the book was added a small booklet that reflects what was going on at the shrine of St Cuthbert and shows the offerings, gifts and treasures that had been brought there by pilgrims over the years, including jewels and also griffin eggs.